hello everyone hope you are doing all right so today in this video i'm gonna share one of that apple clone website project and also the code to you as you see that is the project what i'm talking about if you just reload and you can see how swiftly the transition happening that's a video actually running here and how simply it just going on and it stop after a certain time as you see it's super cool just to see the excellent plan is happening behind the screen so we have our header and then also we have that the banner we can call so after that we have one video here to highlight the product so as you see it just on videos running then after the separate the single one is coming here and it's a very good simple transitioning is happening you see you can just uh, push it you can just stop it and you can replay it again so that's giving a very simple and cool transitioning here and after that we can have a take a closer look on the phone here we can change the color from here we can change the size from here okay it's a different size okay that that's cool that's pretty slick okay after that segment we have the full story exploration and also there is a video running here so you can see this just giving a pretty much blend of the product for the apple 15 and then we have the other ratio then okay regarding the chip and other properties and also one tummy video to how you can go with and how is supporting the game and after that done so that's a very simple project but it's not so simple as you see once you just reload how transitioning happening how it's really giving a blend to you and you'll get all of this code and by the way i didn't do this i didn't make that uh like uh, website here i happen to find it here in that linkedin profile and it's a very long time i just got to save the uh, like the clone the project but i forget to get the code or uh, get the name of whoever is written there but i really forgot but what i really feel this code is very powerful it's a simple coding i think it's written in the vjs and but it's very simple but if you happen to know anybody with the person the right person who write that code please let me know in the comments below i want to really really uh, find my gratitude and humble uh, affinity tools show them he did a very nice job here so how you can get it i get it how you can do that so if you not happen to be in the linkedin and didn't get this code you can just get it from here as you see it just here you just need to download or you can just clone it and just it the way you well preferable and what i did i clone here so that's the project i have here and what i have as you see that's a very simple structure if you are familiar with the vgs you can see we have a never hero section highlight section model features how to works and future if you just go and articulate here this is our never this is the hero section and if i just come back here that's the highlight and that is the model which is going to be happen to render the phone data as you see that's the model he's talking about and after that the feature that's the feature and then the how it works and footer so that's the how it works section and then the footer so that's a very simple structure and let's see what are the packages used here in the package the json you can just be seen here we use the wait here and jsap react okay just jessup so it's very good so that's the i think he used the 3gs for making that uh animation and other properties and it's a project layer we can see we have like a simple structure here in the source we have our app jsx it's not in typescript it's just simple javascript there react javascript we have main.jsx and there is no routing no route setup nothing it's a simple application we have index.css and here is setup for the tailwind config.js now entry point is here uh, i think the app.jsx and if you just combine here in the never so you can see in the source we have three a uh, four file over here for folder structure here one is for the asset in the asset you will find nothing here right now all the properties is here in that asset in public so it is the images here all the images is used for these projects and then we have the videos so these all are the videos which are running there you can see you can play it from here and you can see how it works so that's the video and that's the model which is used for that uh, apple structure so now after 
so this is the public having the assets and other properties then we have the components all the components are available here from the hero to other section you can just go and it's a very simple structure so you will uh, feel free to explore it in the constants we have all the indexed raw data is provided here so all the raw data is you can just get it from here then in the utils we have animation which used for the 3js and jsf and also we have the index regarding that a uh, framework motion and other properties how the image you will get how the videos you will get so that's it so i think that's a very simple structure to start with the project but it's very highly configurable if you just come here i want to change that store how you can do that let's go in the nav bar and as you see the nav list so i can just change it from there so that's my nav list i'm gonna say uh what you can call uh real store just to see if it's changing or not and you see that's change so in that way you can change all the structure you can change all the setup the way you feel it better and by the way if you really thinking that's really helping you please do like the video and let me know in the comments if you find the owner of this code i really want to send my gratitude to him and of course if you are really feeling that kind of things you're looking for then let me know in the comments below because next time i'm gonna making this this apple clone so entire iphone clone it will be in your hands if you are saying me in the comments you are liking it you want it if i'm having the 10 comments with saying yes we want that then i will just drop it here how to how you can do it how you can configure it how you can have it with the next chairs not in bit but next chairs and fully configurable and how the fully customizable that you can use it in your project you can showcase anywhere as you wish for so I think that's a bit today so again i'm really sorry because that's not my code but i'm sharing because i find it interesting maybe you will find it also interesting to explore how things can be done very simply very simple and easy way so i think it can be really helpful for you that you can grab that code and give it a try make a headshot and i'll see you next video